Hey, this is Bosco's Toy Box. I am back with more toy collectibles and this time it's going to be a quick video to show you a very small auction win on some uh, vintage uh, little figures that I uh, acquired within the last uh, day or so. And uh, I got all these figures for $1.99. So first I'm going to show you this Mickey Mouse here, which is a bobblehead, and it is a Kellogg Cereal Premium, and that's going to go to Dismania. Uh, Dismania, that is part of the Collector's Talk crew. And speaking of Dismania, there is also these two figures that he will be getting. These are hard PVC uh, plastic figures. So you got uh, Tigger. Okay, and then you got Winnie the Pooh. Okay, and then next up we have got a McDonald's toy from Tailspin. This is blue. And let's see if I can... Lighting kind of sucks right now. But uh, there you go. And it's actually um, not broke, which is because sometimes these... Um, Landing gear wheels are broke, and a uh, little bit of uh, paint wear, but that's not too bad. As you can see, paint's wearing off just a little bit, but still, that's really good. That's going to go in my collection. And then next up, I got the, the one oddball in this collection is this uh, Asian bobblehead. As you can see, it bobbles up and down or back and forth. Uh, no idea what that is. It was just like some kind of uh, probably like a little cheapy like you would find in an oriental store like Chinatown or something. So that's just going to go over there. And then next up we've got a, another cereal premium. This is Scrooge McDuck. This is the one that I do not have yet. So that's going to go in my collection of those cereal premiums uh, that I have. So very cool, and paint wear is uh, non-existent on this one. It's very, very good. No, no paint wearing off anywhere. So that's a really good figure to have. Next up is a figure from the, it's the Tree Tots from Kenner, or the Treehouse Tots from Kenner. And this is Chip. And as you can see, uh... I think it says 19, I don't have my uh, magnifying glass with me at the moment, but let's see if you can see that on camera here. As you can see, I think it's like 1975, I think, or it's 3. Because I'm just looking at this uh, on the little screen here. So, very cool. I don't have any tree uh, treehouse tots yet, and I'm hoping to get the treehouse uh, at some point this uh, coming year in 2017. So I'm very happy to get that. Next, I think what I've pinpointed these two figures are Little Tykes Toddle Tots. I think. I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what they are yet, but they do indeed look like they're the, from Little Tykes Toddle Tots. And what's very cool about these is they are they do have some paint wear. Uh, on the faces and whatnot, but as you can see that this one person here has got a face right there But then when you turn the the hair and the, the top piece the hair and the hat and Then they have a different expression on their face and Then you turn it again and Then they have another another expression where this one looks like it's looking up in the air and then I think we're back to the other one, I think. I think that there's only, uh, let's see, looking down on this one, so let's see, there's one, there's two, and three. So there's three. Okay, so very cool. Or maybe there's, well, one is, two are looking down, and it's got a slightly different grin. So maybe there's four. One, one, two, three, there should be three, it looks like. Because there's three same uniforms, too. A little bit. One has an arrow here. Well, that has an arrow. God, I haven't even looked at this figure yet that well. So, 
I think that's a Tottle Tot. And then here's the other one, which is a female, uh, maybe a mother. So there's uh, this one is really uh, paint weared a lot. Some like some of the expressions barely come up on the little figure there. But still, it's kind of cool to have. Still going to keep it in my collection. <clears throat> so, uh, and then at the bottom here, they're hollow. Almost like they're finger puppets in a way. So, very cool. So, those are going to go over there. And then, the ones, the these last two figures that I got uh, is the reason I got this auction. These are the vintage Fisher Price Sesame Street uh, figures. So here you have Cookie Monster. And when you find most of these on auctions, uh, unless they're uh, taken well care of, uh, the eyes go missing, the, the, the paint wear. And as you can see, those eyes are perfect. And actually, it's uh, really, really smooth. It's not like chewed up or anything. Very perfect uh, cookie monster there. And then the other one that I got is Oscar the Grouch. And as you can see there at the bottom, you're supposed to push that up with your finger. And then Oscar, it, let's see if you can see that. Like uh, like I said, the lighting kind of sucks here. But you can kind of see his face right there. Uh, and it's just a very cool one to have. And again, those go to the play set of the very old uh, Fisher Price Sesame Street playset. So those I will cherish a lot because uh, th those are uh, hard to find and actually if you do find them on eBay you'll be paying like 10 bucks each for, for these uh, because uh, people do uh, offer a very hefty price on just these little tiny figures. So that is everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Down in the description below are my friends uh, and collectors in the Collectors Talk Train Circle. Check out their videos for their vintage toy finds and everything else that they collect. And just until next time, just keep playing with those toys, keep collecting, and have fun.